Greetings, logicians. Patrick Smith from Disenthrall here, happy to guest host another Logical Fallacy video. Today we have for you logic chopping, also known as smokescreen or quibbling or splitting hairs or nitpicking or trivial objections. This is when one uses the technical tools of logic in an unhelpful and pedantic manner by focusing on trivial details instead of directly addressing the main issue in a dispute. Sort of like irrelevant over-precision. Pay close attention to this fallacy because you may find yourself committing this fallacy more than any others. For example, can you please help me push my car to the side of the road until the tow truck comes? Says John. Paul says, why push it to the side of the road? Why not just leave it? John. It is slowing down traffic unnecessarily where it is. Paul. Well, many things slow down traffic. Do you feel you need to do something about all of them? John. No, but this was my fault. Paul. Was it really? Were you the direct cause of your car breaking down? John. Are you going to help me move this damn car or not? <laughs> you can see here that Paul is avoiding the request for assistance by attempting to make a deep philosophical issue out of a simple request. While Paul may have some good points, not every situation in life calls for deep critical thought, this situation being one of them. Another example would be a service tech. Your car could use some new tires. Bart, you have a financial interest in selling me tires. Why should I trust you? <laughs> <laughs> Service tech. Well, you brought your car to me to have it checked, sir. I brought my car to the shop where you work. Service tech. So we should forget about the new tires for now? Bart. I never suggested that. Are you trying to use reverse psychology on me so I will buy the tires? <laughs> this kind of fallacy could easily be a result of someone with paranoid behavioral tendencies, thinking the world is out to get them. Of course, there is no clear line between situations that call for critical thought and those that call for reactionary obedience. But if you cross the line, hopefully you are with people who care about you enough to tell you. Also, people don't like to be made to feel inferior. You need to know when tact and restraint are more important than being right. Thanks for listening. If you want to find more of my work, you can check me out at disenthrall.me.